Let me show you how to identify peaks using the NIST database. Ok, let's open a chromatogram and detect some peaks in it. Use the standard peak detector and select the peak afterwards. Let's select the peak at 8.2 minutes. Ok, we would like to identify it now. And we can use the NIST database connector. In the settings, you need to define where your NIST MS exe is located. You can say to report all hits and to store the results in the peak or mass spectrum. Ok, let's select the peak and start the NIST identification process. It may took a while to identify the peak because the NIST database will be started automatically. When it's finished, the results can be seen in the view. And you can click on the peak again and see that it has been identified as styrene with the match quality of 96.1. But you can detect not only single peaks, you can detect all peaks in the range, which not have been identified yet. Use the peak list identifier and see the results when the identifier has been finished. Let's select the peak at 44.6 minutes and select it in the peak list. There you can see the identification entries.